Welcome back. Award-winning Nashville recording artist Johnny Young is a full-time touring country singer and songwriter. His music has been heard on radio worldwide, and through his work, he has helped raise over a million dollars for several charities. Here to share more about his career and give us a live performance is Johnny Young. Johnny, thanks so much for being here at Live My in the Bay. Sure, thanks for having me. Yes, I am so excited to see you perform in just a little bit. You are going to be debuting a brand new song here, but before we do that, I want to learn a little bit about you and your music career. So when did you get started? Um, I performed uh, on stage since I, age five. Wow. Yeah, since a little kid, and I've been touring on the road for decades now. Just uh, music is what I love, and I've been all over the, the North American continent, down into the Caribbean, performing and stuff, making albums, and uh, it's really what I love. So cool. Who were some of your um, idols and people that you really looked up to? Um, Duke Ellington. For his uh, work ethic, he always got on the road and toured full time. Mm -hmm. um, Louis Armstrong, Django Reinhardt, a lot of the older jazz cats really uh, resonate with me. Yeah. But I'm uh, obviously I'm a country guy, so George Jones has to come into the conversation at mm -hmm. some point, and um, Loretta Lynn. Mm -hmm. So I take a lot of uh, influence from those guys. Very cool, very cool. Well, you've spent some time in Nashville um, in the recent years. Tell me about your time there, because it's such a big music scene, obviously, for country music. It is a guitar town, for mm -hmm. sure, for sure. There's everything there, though. Uh, and I moved there during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh, everything had shut down out here, so I decided to go make a record. I didn't know what was going to happen. So I headed out to Nashville. Was this your first record that you were making? No, just a, as a bona fide solo artist, mm -hmm. really. It was a tribute album to my father who had passed away just as the uh, pandemic had started. Yeah. So I figured it was a country song in itself. So I went to Nashville and uh, met some really great musicians who uh, said, come on, we'll, we'll help you make a record. So, yeah. so we did it, and uh, it's just been taken off. It's gotten so much... Uh, critical acclaim and it's really just went places I could never could have imagined. So well, I'm, congratulations I'm really on that. Yeah. Thanks well, so I'm much. sorry to hear about your father, but I, I love that you really turned that into just something poetic, truly moving to Nashville and creating a record. What was that process like for you? Well, it was really expensive, but uh, <laughs> it was also exciting because just Nashville, you just never know who you're going to bump into. Yeah. There's country music royalty, you know, popping out of the woodwork out right. there. So, Do you have any run-ins with anyone that you were starstruck by? Um, not necessarily starstruck, but I was really in awe of the fact I was recording with George Jones's daughter. Mm -hmm. We did a duet on the album, and at the time we're recording, um, Roger Miller's son is at the studio booth next to me recording his vocals. Yeah. So just to be, again, Im immersed amongst all this country music royalty, if you will, um, yeah. was just very inspirational and uh, a life changer for me. It really was. Amazing. I, I want to talk that. about your charitable, charitable efforts because that is quite a lot of money that you've raised. So tell me about your work in raising money for different causes. Well, you know, I... Uh, I relied on the food bank a lot as a kid, mm -hmm. and I love animals, so those were the first entities I went after were food banks, um, uh, as well as the Humane Society, stuff like that. And then I uh, just mushroomed uh, to the point where I got with a band who was doing uh, fundraising uh, for the Susan G. Komen Breast Cancer Foundation, and we set a goal of a million dollars and toured around uh, the country a couple times and managed to raise the funds uh, with the help of the national... Uh, uh, thing that happened here at Golden Gate Park mm -hmm. a few years ago with the Susan G. Komen. We were honored to perform at that as well. So Amazing. it's just, uh, you know, wherever somebody needs some help, I'm always there to yeah. use the music for that cause if we can. So. I love that. I love that you're putting your talents to um, to work and to give back. So that's just incredible. Well, you're working so on some new music. You're actually going to debut a song right here on Live in yeah. the Bay. Tell me about the song that you're about to perform. It's called Old Dirt Road and it's going to be on the new record and basically is just uh, kind of plays on words and uses uh, an old dirt road metaphorically to kind of explain the ins and outs, left and rights about our lives. Yeah. And how it's just kind of, uh, you know, kind of the same thing in a lot of ways.